What's going on guys? I want to do a um, quick update on the Variax. So if you've looked at my channel before, you know I did the uh, video where I go over why I chose the Variax um, and which one and why. But uh, since I purchased it, I ran into a problem with the Pezios. And um, it's probably an area that a lot of people have concerns with and I wanted to do my own um, kind of recap as to what is going on. So if you look right here, uh, that is the PZO uh, from the manufacturer. And if you know um, what a PZO is, is basically it, it amplifies the sound on the saddle um, instead of having an actual pickup mounting. Um, the cool thing about this thing is that it's completely round. There's no um, cuts, there's no divots, it's smooth. But the type of metal that it is, um, over time it does have wear. No one's really kind of explained what that time measure is. Uh, so, I took a couple pictures of my PZO um, on my 59 that I'm sending back the Line 6 to show you guys what I found when I started having these issues. So if you look over right there, that is going to be a couple pictures of um, my EA and D string that I started noticing having a weird ping. Um, if you guys have watched a few videos, you know that for some people the palm muting sounded weird. Um, and for some players, they notice a ping in the guitar. Now, there's a, a few fix to kind of getting rid of that ping that most people have. One was updating the firmware that Line 6 updated on the Variac systems. Second, a lot of people found that using the fret wrap on the headstock worked wonders. Um, I agree with that. Third uh, would be using a noise gate. Um, not all the time, uh, depending on what type of guitar setup you have, you might need it. And uh, fourth was really the palm. Um, palm muting with a regular pickup versus how you use with the PZO is very different. Um, there's a different feel, different way. I mean, slight movements does affect everything. Um, with the guitar, the guitar ships with Diodario set tens. Um, those are just pretty pretty thick to me. Um, I like using, you know, nines or nine and a halfs or hybrid sets just to get that full. Um, two bends in on, on my style of playing. So uh, I switched to Super Slinky Hybrid um, and basically the top three low strings um, are basically a half step down from a set 10 and the lower set uh, high strings are regular uh, nine set and it, it's a really good medium where you have the the flexibility with the nine on the, on the high side but you have that beefy, chunky string on the low side for the very accent, and most of the time you notice that with acoustic guitar playing. So, uh, switched those out immediately when I got the guitar, and I've been playing with those sets off and on for the good part of four or five months. Um, I went to change strings uh, because I basically replaced strings in a half a pack um, while I was on a, on a gig, and I wanted to go ahead and replace all of them at once. And I notice a divot in the saddle uh, right on top of the, the PZO. So I didn't really think anything of it. I, I might have thought maybe it was there and I didn't really notice anything, but it was kind of uniform to the string. I replaced all of them and uh, noticed right up here, um, you can start seeing different wear patterns. Um, when it came to the D, there was more of a straight vertical line. Uh, when it came to the A and E, there was more of a rigid uh, type of, of winding into that uh, the PZO. When I went to go play, I immediately noticed a ping in an open palm mute on the E. Um, doesn't really matter what tuning, you can hear that ping. And, and the best I can think about it is the string riding up and down on that ridge. Um, looking at all the Facebook posts and all these forums, I see a lot of people where they would file down and smooth out that ridge, which is why um, I think a lot of people have issues with oxidation and corrosion um, on those type of PZOs. I kind of reset the string. Um, it did a couple other things to see if it was just me. I went back to an old video and, and see if I could notice when I was playing open mute if there's a ping into it. And... Um, there wasn't. And what I, I can only deduce from all this is that um, when I palm mute, I really dig my palm into it. And I wouldn't say I'm a heavy crush the strings kind of palm muter, but my palm's always on it. Um, 
I'm a little surprised, to be honest, that a few months I've kind of eroded or imprinted the string into the PZO. It's a little odd to me, especially that I went down in, in a gauge. Um, I hooked up with line, line 6, and they are having me send the guitar back, and they're going to go ahead and replace all the PZOs. Um, I would go ahead and purchase them from Compass and get them all installed myself, but with the guitar still under warranty um, and Compass is out of stock until later on this month, um, my only option to get the guitar back to where I had it before is to have Line 6 fix it. Um, I asked the question, like, is this a common thing? I know a lot of people have been playing the Variax for quite a while, maybe you know, to the point where they're playing for a couple years, and they haven't mentioned any of this. So maybe it was a fluke on that particular type of PZO. It was just a bad, you know, bad batch or whatever. Um, we'll see. Well, only time will tell when I get that guitar back and um, replace the same strings and see what happens.